horse of the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. Shoot him off. Yep. 
Come with me, Tonto. Tonto, ready. Come on, Silver. While the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode back to the spot where the express ride had been shot, our scene changes to the town of Silver Gulch. Like so many other towns of the surrounding country, Silver Gulch was situated at the bottom of a steep hill. On the hill itself were two homes, crudely built of logs. In one of the places lived Jim Flood and his wife. Our story continues as Jim says, I can't tell what to do, Ruth. It's the darnest thing i ever seen. Here I am with a fortune in gold right outside a house, and I can't get it. Jim, we waited long enough for that Eastern Company to buy out your claim. I don't reckon they ever aimed to buy it. I sort of figured from what the examiners said that it wouldn't be no question but what they'd buy us out, same as they'd done with all the other good claims. I'd say we'd better sell your land to Harb Riggs and get what we can out in it. Come out back and take a look at the claim, Ruth. I've seen it a hundred times. But maybe we can figure out some way to get the ore out. Come on. <laughs> Get the tired climb in this hill. I don't know whatever possessed us to build our house here. Good timber, a swift stream, and being near my claim, that's what it was. Uh, here, let me help you, Ruth. You'll like to turn your ankle on this loose rock. Now I get along better alone. What's Harv Riggs' last offer? Just $150. Including the house? The whole works. House, land, and gold claim. Ain't much. Ain't nothing at all to what the claim is worth. The worst of it is, these rocks are so doggone loose. I send them sliding down on Riggs' place every time I stick a spade into the ground. And you can't get the pay dirt without spading. No. What's that paper Riggs has got from the law? Something called an injunction. What's it do? Just about ruins me, that's what. It keeps me from doing any digging here. Every time I dig, I send a shale down on Riggs' property. So he got this paper. Next time I dig, I go to jail. There's Riggs coming up the hill now. Oh, I'm a rat. Hey, 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 Flood. Hello, Riggs. Well, I'll no, just step outside your house by the rocks and me past my place. Yeah? It's all over my proposition. To buy your place? Buy mine or sell me yours. Ain't no ways an even proposition. You offer 150 for mine and ask a 1000 for yours. That's the deal. And mine has gold on it. Well, I can't get it that gold, though, can you? Thanks to you and your dog on legal papers, I can't. Jim, why can't you build a fence and keep the rock from sliding down? Sorry, ma'am, but that won't do. You could build a dozen fences and it wouldn't do. It'll stop the sliding rock. Yeah, if only that paper don't make no mention of fences. It just says that you can't dig and it's all there is to it. Why, you ornery polecat, you're just trying to force me to accept your proposition. Well, that's right. But look here, Reeves. One fifty for my land's nothing at all. Why, them eastern mining men said it was worth at least $20,000. They ain't offered you that much, have they? Well, no. But they might. It takes time for the mails to get here. <laughs> you won't get no such offer. Like it's not that fool's gold, anyhow. Ain't neither. Well, buy me out for a thousand. That's a good bargain. If your place is worth 20000 All right, I will. thousand dollars cash money. But now, wait, Rig. You know blame well I ain't no cash. Cash is what I'm after. I'd have it blamed soon if I could dig that land. The paper says you go to jail as soon as you start digging. Look here, Big. I'll make a deal with you. I'm listening. I'll pay two thousand dollars. That sounds good. But not cash money. I'll give you two thousand if you let me dig my land to get it. That ain't no deal. The law says you can't dig. But I could if you was to let me. I'll sign a paper pledging two thousand dollars to you, and you take have the judge take the paper back, call that injunction. Paper. No. Your place ain't worth 500 What more do you want? <laughs> I know a good thing when I see you, Jim. Reckon I'd be a blame fool to let this chance go by. Sooner or later, you'll have to sell your land, won't you? Oh, why? Sell it or starve. But I don't reckon anyone would buy it with me holding this injunction. You better sell to me while you got the chance. Because maybe when you want to sell, I won't be willing to go as high as a hundred and a half. God, the poor cat, that's what you are. You know just enough about the law to use it to your selfish end. You're misjudging me, Jim. You're the one that's being selfish. You're like the dog in the manger. You can't use the land yourself, and you won't let no one else use it. Well, I can wait. I reckon you'll sell when you begin to get good and hungry. Several days went by. Jim Flood, unable to sell to the Eastern Syndicate, 
and unwilling to sell to Riggs, began to feel the pinch of poverty. As our next scene opens, we see him in the Silver Glove Cafe and watch him as he approaches the bartender. If you just let me have a little more credit, Steve. I'd like to, Jim, but you already owe a sizable amount here. But it's grub I want. Little stink liquor. No, don't you see? Uh, food costs money, Jim. I'm afraid your credit here has come wore out. You won't give me none, Steve? I reckon not. You ain't heard from that Eastern Company, have you? Uh, no, not yet. Well, I didn't figure you would. Riggs was talking about the fool's gold you thought was genuine. Riggs, that ornery. He says that you never would hear from that company. He says we'd be foolish to let you have more credit. We never will get our money. Riggs is trying to make me sell out to him. That's why he's saying them things. Well, maybe you better have sell out. For $150? Oh, Steve, you know what my place is worth. Well, it ain't worth much if it's got fool's gold on it. Let me tell you something, Jim Plutt. Yeah? If you don't sell out pretty quick, me and Sam over in the general store is going to have to go to law. I suppose that's Riggs' suggestion, too. Well, it's a good one. You owe us both considerable money. It's up to us to get it. We can force you to sell out if we have to. Pardon me. Oh, yeah. Uh, what would it be, stranger? I happen to overhear you two talking. I reckon we was talking a little too loud. Who is this man, Riggs? What do you want to know for? Who is he? He lives up on the hill away, just below my house. I've heard something about the situation on that hill. Your name is Flood, isn't it? That's right. What's your handle, stranger? Suppose you call me friend. Friend? Huh. Reckon that's one thing I ain't got right now. Flood, you'll sit over here at the corner table with me. I'll stake you to a meal. Thanks, stranger. It ain't so much that I'm hungry. It's the missus, my wife. She's home. When you go home, you'll take food to her, Flood. I ain't taking charity from no stranger. You're looking for word from the East, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Hey, a stranger. You sort of talk like an Easterner. Is that where you're from? Fix up some food for Flood to take home when he goes. You'll be paid for it. Are you from the Eastern Mining Syndicate? Suppose we sit over here at this corner table and talk. <laughs> I don't know when food ever tasted better, stranger. Tell me more about this letter you've been looking for. Uh, uh, seeing as you ain't from the mining company, I reckon I ain't looking for no letter. Just what was it to be? Well, I reckon there ain't no use talking about it now. I sort of hoped I might get an offer from my land. I can't work it on account of its being on a hill. And the stone falls down on Riggs' land. I heard about that. He has an injunction that prevents you from working your land. Yeah, that's right. He wants to buy your place from you. For $150. Huh. That ain't very much, but I expect I'll soon have to sell to him. Suppose the Eastern Company did buy the land. Shucks, they'd be able to rake up the cash and pay Riggs what he wants for his place and work the claim. But you can't pay the cash, huh? Gosh, no. I can't even raise the price of a square meal no more. How'd they ever get a thousand dollars? I'd like to see Harv Riggs. Oh, he'll be coming in here real soon, blowing off his mouth and bragging how he put a slick deal over on me. You just stick around, stranger, and you'll see him. gave food to Jim Flood and loaned him money. Then, covering his disguised face with his mask, he left town and rode to the small, well-concealed camp where Tonto waited for him. Oh, oh, there, oh, 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 you fine fella? Yes, Tonto. I found Jim Flood in the cafe. Oh. What him like? He's all right, Tonto. He's up against hard luck, mighty hard. Oh? I also saw Harv Riggs. That good. He came in before I left. Him fella you want? Yes, Tata. He's the fellow the pony rider described to us. Him fella who shoot pony rider? Tata, Harv Riggs is our man. How you prove that? With the pony rider dead, I don't see how we can prove that Harv Riggs is the one who stole the mail. Unless we succeed in the plan, I have in mind. What? That? The pony rider told us Riggs stole one letter from the mailbag. Uh -huh. Then him leave Pony Rider. He left the rest of the mail as it was, strapped to the back of the rider. It looked like Indians had done the killing. Uh. I think the paper rig stool was an offer from the East to buy Jim Flood's claim. What we do? Unless Flood has that paper, he'll sell out for practically nothing. Then Riggs will sell to the Eastern Corporation. Uh. 
I want to find that paper, Tonto. Must be someplace in Harv Riggs' house. You'll have to go there tonight and search the place. Me? Do. We'll watch. You go in when Riggs leaves. Then when we've got the paper, Tonto, we're going to stake a claim of our own. We'll stake it on that same hill, higher up in Jiggin' Flood's place. The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scene, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. You will recall that in the first act of our Lone Ranger drama... Jim Flood found himself unable to work his mind or sell it because of the opposition of his neighbor. A letter to Flood from the Eastern Syndicate was stolen by Riggs before it reached its true destination. Riggs had also won an injunction prohibiting Flood working the claim on the grounds that loose rock endangered his property. At this point, the Lone Ranger took a hand in the affair by giving financial help to Jim Flood the famous masked rider determined to bring Riggs to justice. That night, Tonto entered Riggs' home in search of the missing letter. In the meantime, Riggs had gone to call on Jim Flood. We hear him as he raps on the door of Jim's home. Evening, Jim. I figured you might want to talk to me tonight. Oh, you. Well, come in, Riggs, come in. I heard you was having a hard luck in town today. You knew I was going to have hard luck before I went there, Riggs. It's your talk that's had them shut off all my credit everywhere. Well, you can't blame a man for being a true business dealer, can you, Flood? I'd almost sooner starve than sell out at your price. And so would I, Jim. Tell Riggs we ain't going to sell. I... No. No, I can't do it, Ruthie. I reckon we ain't no choice but to sell out to this pole cat and try and find new digging somewhere. When them vittles that man from the east brought us is gone... Well, there won't be no more. No money to buy none with. And no credit. $150 is a lot of cash, Jim. Don't you take it, Jim. What'll we do when the hundred and fifty's gone? We won't have nothing then, not even this house in the clean. All right. I reckon we can find something to do. We'll settle down in the valley. No need to worry, Jim. I'll give you a job working for me. I'll make that part of the deal. I'll pay you 150 cash and give you a job. Now, that's fair enough, ain't it? Uh, I reckon so. I guess our dreams of being wealthy won't never be more than dreams, Jim. Some people just ain't cut out for well. That's the way to look at it, Mrs. Flood. Now, here, I got a paper all made out. Bill of sale, it's called. Let me see it. All I got to do is fill in the date. I'll need it for tomorrow. And you just sign it, and I'll hand over the money to you. Ah, I sure hate to do this. After all your hard years of prospecting, Jim, to finally strike this gold claim and then have to sell out for $150. Never mind, Ruth. We never had the gold, so we won't miss it. What about that job, Riggs? I'll write it right here in this paper for you. I'll even specify just how much I'm to pay you. Don't be much. I'll vouch for that. It'll be a living wage. You needn't worry. Jim, look! Oh, what the... Take it easy. It's an outlaw, a masked man. Put down them guns, mister. I want you to come with me. What are you coming here for? What do you want? Who are you? You stay back, Riggs. It's Jim Flood I want. You can't do this. You can't take me. I ain't got nothing to say. Hurry, Flood. I'm waiting. Don't try to draw that gun. Oh, all right, mister. You're showing good sense, Jim, and coming without a struggle. All right, Flood, I'm... Riggs, Riggs, don't let him take Jim. Stop him somehow. Stop him. Oh, I don't know anything I could have done. He's captured Jim. He's run off with him. Is this more of your ornery scheming? There's a goal. Look, the outlaw's carrying Jim on that white horse. Man's sake, they'll break their necks riding down the hill at that speed. Well, ain't no use me going after him. But you can get to town, can't you? Hurry up and get the sheriff. There ain't no telling what'll happen to Jim. <laughs> Ranger made Jim a captive, but he took him only far enough from his home to explain a daring plan to the miner. He gave Flood careful instructions before releasing him, then rejoined Tonto. Tonto, did you find the letter Harbrick stole? Tonto looked in-house. 
Not fine letter. He wouldn't destroy the letter, Kimosabe, because he'd want to sell the mine to the company when he gets it from Jim. Must be hidden somewhere in his house. Until not fine. You search the house? May not have much time. Search only part of the house. He may have the letter in his pocket. We'll go ahead with our plans anyway. I think he'll produce the letter when the time comes. I'm not good. I told Jim Flood just what he's to do, and he's agreed to do it. Ah. He's on his way to talk to his wife right now. And in a few minutes, I think we'll see them leaving the house. Come on, Ruth. We've got to get. You didn't know where you been. Oh, I was that much afraid. What did that masked man want for? The rig's gone. Yeah, a long time ago, but you went. Ain't no time for talking. I can't explain things now. We've got to travel downhill fast. Don't ask no questions. Just take things to wear and come on. But why? Landslide, that's why. I've been hearing rumblings on the hill. I ain't heard nothing. Your ears ain't sharp enough then. Now, come on, Ruth, and get some things together. It's too risky to stay here tonight. Jim Flood, have you took leave of your senses? No, here. Here, take these things. Where are we going? We're going to put up for the night at the hotel in town. You have gone loco. First, that masked man runs off with you. Then you come back shouting things about a landslide coming off tonight. And now, without a cent of cash money and no credit, you talk of going to the hotel. We got some money. Where did it come from? It was loaned us. Come on now, let's get going. The sooner we get to town, the better. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were outside Jim's home, waiting in the darkness until the sound of falling stones told them of the departure of Flood and his wife. Then the masked man spoke. They're on the way downhill now, Tupper. Mm, that's good. I was afraid Jim wouldn't carry out his part of the plans. Him do it all right. Yes. Here they come. Get back to the side of the trail. We don't want Mrs. Flood to see us and ask a lot of questions. Maybe now. I'll go start uphill, huh? No, not just yet. Wait until they pass by. I still can't see what position you to leave the house tonight, Jim Flood. Ruth, some men can tell by feeling inside them when it's going to rain. Some can tell other things. But me, I could tell as a landslide due before morning, and I ain't going to stay on this hill and get catched in it. Well, you can tell a blame fight more than I can. That's all I got to say. Now, tell them, you start up the hill. Get everything ready. Now, wait till Jim Flood gets to town before I ride in with the exciting news. Everyone will laugh at Flood when he tells them there's a landslide due. Maybe them laugh. Too soon. Yes, they'll be sorry that they left. <laughs> Where do you feel the landslide? In your bones, Jim? <laughs> All right, Dad, that's a lot of you. Go on and laugh. <laughs> Boys, he invites us to laugh. Free charge. <laughs> Didn't have the dramatic ache when rain is due. He gets a feeling when there'll be a landslide coming on. <laughs> hey, what's that? We don't know it. Landslide! Landslide! I tell you. What sort of trick is this? Come on, Tank! See for yourself! He's me! What's the man for? Who is he? Oh, um, he's moving fast! Come on! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, never look in here! Right as bad, it might wreck the town. I tell you, boys, it'll ruin the town if it's a bad one. Hey, it's a trouble with having a town where this one is. Wonder why Riggs don't know about it. He didn't have the feeling of it like I did. You might have warned him, Jim. He laughed like the same uh, all you men did. That is! The mess name was right! Party go to? Boys, we gotta rescue Har Riggs. We gotta get to him somehow. Get your horses! Come on, boys! Then the Silver Gulf learned to their alarm that a landslide had actually started. Jim Flood and his wife were safe, but it was feared that Riggs would be destroyed in his cabin. And so while Ross and Shale thundered into the valley, men fought their way upward to rescue him. His door faces the top of the hill, boys. I'd miss them jab with Ross so you can't get out. Come on, boys. Keep your foot in. Riggs is in his house. Come on and help me. Where's that miss? There he is. We're coming, stranger. Now, you're going to be all right, Rick. Keep them wrong, sir. It won't be long now. 
I guess the worst was fly to done with. Sounded to me like a blast that started it. Hurry with those frogs. Hear me out, boys. In the name of goodness, hurry and get me out of here. This is downright curious. These rocks don't look like shale that have been broken off. They look like they've been piled here by someone. Yeah, my think it's too much. Get him to the side. Ah, now he can get out. Oh, God. Oh, thank goodness you come, boys. Couldn't get through the winters, eh? No. I guess the slide is over now anyhow. But your work, men, has just begun. Oh, you anyhow, Hey, you stand right where you are. I imagine when you thought you'd lose your house for the slide... You hid the most valuable of your possessions on your person. I hope so. Don't make a move. Hey, the stranger's holding a gun on me. What's the big idea, stranger? Listen to me, men. Someone killed the pony rider and stole a certain letter from him. What? The rider lived just long enough to describe the killer. He knew the letter was addressed to Jim Flood. And the killer he described was Harv Riggs. He lied. He ain't got no proof. The description of the murderer fits you, Riggs. Since I came here, I found out that you'd have reason to want that letter. Well, I wouldn't. Eh? It's that ain't true. Keep your hands where they are. Yeah, see here, stranger. You can't talk Listen like that. Listen to me until I finish. The letter to Jim Flood was one he was expecting from an eastern mining syndicate. I thought I'd get an offer to buy my place to see Jim. Well, Riggs knows that. He didn't want me to get that offer. He figured to force me to sell out to him, and then he'd sell to the eastern people. Well, it's oh, nothing but a pack of lies. It ain't true. It, it ain't. easily be proved. Riggs. If you didn't steal that letter, you wouldn't have it now. I ain't. I can't. Stand still, Riggs. You're going to be searched. Well, I won't submit to this. It's an insult. I'll take you to court. We'll hold court right here. That whole landslide was staged for your benefit. Rocks were piled against your house so you couldn't get out. Take your hands off me. You can't. You can't let me see about that letter. Uh, yeah, here's something. Hold the lantern close. I don't know nothing about that. I didn't put it there. I, I don't know how it got in my pocket. Here, yeah, Jim, this is yours. Uh, my letter takes a life. How'd you get it, Rig? if you didn't do what the masked man said? Uh, Jim, boy. blood must have stuck it in my pocket. Boy, this offers me 5,000 cash and half interest in the mine for my claim. I'm going to be rich. Oh, you frame me. Shut up, Rig. Why should Jim Flood try to frame you by putting that letter in your clothes? That letter makes him a rich man. Stranger, we sure want to thank you. Oh, Get that mess, man. How do you know he ain't the killer? Maybe he's just trying to frame me for what he done. We don't want him, Riggs. We got you. <laughs> Copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.